Today, I'm sauteing my fingers in the name of science. Now, this is a cast iron skillet, and this is an aluminum core stainless steel skillet. Both are heating on medium on this induction cooktop. And now I get to say something I've always wanted to say, don't try this at home. Now there's a common belief that cast iron pans are great because they heat evenly. Cast iron is actually a relatively poor heat conductor, especially compared to the aluminum core of this stainless steel skillet. Now it's actually gonna take about eight times longer to burn my finger on the cast iron than it did on this stainless steel. This slower heating causes the pan to develop hot spots. You can see that clearly here in this experiment we did using flour. Now for that reason, our favorite method of preheating a cast iron skillet is to place it in a cold oven, crank the heat to 500 degrees, and let it slowly but evenly heat through. Now the good news is that once cast iron gets hot, it stays hot. Thick, dense, heavy cast iron skillets retain thermal energy incredibly well, giving you the best possible sear on your steak, and proving the point that cast iron cooking is definitely worth the wait. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.